Welcome back. Let's take just a brief moment to look at the bisector of an isosceles triangle theorem. And I'm going to use this diagram as I walk through the parts of this theorem. If a line bisects the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. So first off, here's our triangle. It is isosceles. We have two sides marked the same. And the vertex angle is where the two congruent sides come together. So this is our vertex angle here at the top. If a line bisects that vertex angle, so we have a line come that comes through here and it takes this vertex angle up here and bisects it, meaning it separates it into two congruent angles. If that happens, then the line is also first of all perpendicular and secondly a bisector of the base. Well we know that if these are the congruent sides this third side at the bottom is the base so this line is perpendicular to the base and also it's a bisector of it. So it comes down here hits the midpoint or the center of this side and this part and this part are congruent. So we know that these two angles are the same. We know that this is 90, which means this would also be 90. We know these two sides are the same. We know these two pieces are the same. But we actually know a little bit more. Because these two sides were the same, the isosceles triangle theorem says that these two angles would also be the same in the original triangle. And also, this line that bisected that angle and became a perpendicular bisector of the base, it's in both sides of this triangle. So it is shared. So it's another side that's the same. And so it turns out that this, I'll call it triangle one on this side and triangle two on this side, those are congruent triangles. They have all the parts with corresponding parts in the other triangle. So that's what happens when you have an isosceles triangle that has the vertex angle uh, that gets bisected. You end up actually creating two smaller right triangles that are congruent to one another. Now that can be used then to um, find um, X's or missing angles or whatever it is that you need to do because you know some actual uh, things. You know some number values here. This is 90. You know it's a right triangle so the Pythagorean theorem might show up in your calculation. Uh, but the main thing is in the context of congruence, you're dealing with two congruent triangles here. See you next time.